seventeen years, time enough for newborn to grow up as an adult. The number also marks the length of life of the longest living insect in North America. Now the wait is finally over for some of them. With the 2016 summer coming, another batch of 17 years cicadas have finally come out of the ground and hatch in parts of several northeastern states. The、uh, periodical cicadas are seven species that belong to the genus Magicicada, and that's an eastern United States genus. Even for common summer cicadas, it is not like some of us assumed. They only live for one month. When summer comes to an end, they die. The life of most summer cicadas is around three to five years, but there is an annual emergence. For magic cicadas or periodical cicadas, their life is even longer. Periodical cicadas don't come to the ground annually; they emerge periodically, every thirteen or seventeen years, in huge numbers. Most of their lives, of course, are spent as the immature nymph stage in the ground, and then when it's time, the、uh, Uh, temperature plays a part in getting that nymph to realize that it has to come out now. Most of these years' bugs are known as the brood five of magic cicadas. Starting May, the insects are seen popping out of the soil in New York, Maryland, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. Periodical cicadas emerge periodically, but that doesn't mean the whole family would wait to come out altogether. Different broods come out at different times and in different places. They're synchronized over、uh, geologic time, is why people think they're distributed the way they are, and also、uh, um, secondarily by having such mass emergences. If there's any predators feeding on any of the cicadas, it doesn't really reduce any population that much because there are so many cicadas and there are so many predators. They're totally satiated, but you still have mating and reproduction going on. It is somewhat like the Sleeping Beauty, but what do they actually do in their long time down under? And then the little nymphs hatch from the eggs in about. Um, ten weeks, and they're very small, and they fall to the ground and start their seventeen-year cycle in the ground,、uh, t- attaching to the roots of the plants of the trees and sucking fluids and growing. Among all the numbers, why they come out every thirteen or seventeen years has also triggered a lot of curiosity. Well, the numbers are prime numbers, and there was a lot of research into. Why prime, and not other prime numbers? And it seems that these particular numbers, through evolution, these came out to be the best to n- not have any predators that would have long life cycles actually be able to follow them, because they're not every two years, they're not every four years. It's being an odd number is good too, but having that minimum prime number that worked really well because it's a very long. Time period from one to the other, syn- there were no predators that synchronized、uh, along with that too. Why exactly the evolution chooses this two number is still a mystery, and research is still going on to dig out more about this magic genus.